I've got a man bun, I've got a man bun on my little old head. On day two of demolition, if you're watching the end of day one, I knew that I had gotten something in my eye at the very beginning of the day, and it wasn't even when I was under the bus. I was just standing in the driveway with the goggles on, no less. Decided that if possible, I would try to wear glasses today instead of contacts so that I'm not irritating the corneal abrasion. Um, and so when I was at Walmart, I got these. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of Walmart. Unfortunately, this is the look I'll be sporting. <laughs> yeah. To recap, we've got three seats out. We've got 23 seats to go. The outside edges of most of them done. Um, I'm just gonna go to town on the six that were being buggers yesterday, namely these wheel well ones. After that, we're gonna start going to and fro from underneath the bus on top, underneath, on top, until we get the job done. I am wearing a cardigan because it's actually cold. And by cold, I mean 63 degrees. If you think that that is summer weather, comment down below. Where are you doing your build? Are you in Alaska? Are you in Canada? Are you in Florida like me? Are you sweating it in a cardigan? Where are you doing your build? Let me know. God, it's already too warm for cardigan. One seat and I'm stripping. Okay, I am so proud of myself. It's a stupid bolt, but by gosh golly, I got it. Release yourself. Now on to the back. Okay, so this one is like in there. Can you even see it? Right there. Oh, okay, we can do it, we can do it. I believe in me. Do you believe in me? I believe in me. Did I do anything? I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can do it. We are capable. Every one of these bolts is so satisfying. It's so satisfying. This is what we're dealing with also. I bet some of y'all's filters at home look like this. You don't even know you nasty. So moving on to side number two, where there are less that I have to work on, so let's go find those. And then we get to get started on the back and forth underneath situation. Here we go. So the first one I gotta work on is this one right here. Along with this bolt, I would like to point out the things that children stow in strange places. Exhibit A, a rock, an actual rock. This may be um, something I use to decorate later on. We'll see. Oh, oh. Okay, 
Okay. You're gonna be like that. Oh my god. All the side bolts are free. Every single one of them. Let's get started on the up, down, up, down. Now before I go under the bus, I'm going to change out my socket wrench size and I'm going to put my mask back on and some protective eyewear. Now anybody who lived through the pandemic and wears glasses knows that the glasses mask combo is a disaster. Immediately fogging. Ow. Ow. Double fogging. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Now while there are many annoying and tedious processes in this stage of the demolition, I'd have to say locating the bolts and trying to maneuver around to get those vice grips to stay is going to require the most patience out of anything in the seat removal process. Really not fun, very difficult. So that second one did not do <laughs> what I wanted it to do. So I'm gonna have to go back under and vice grip that one, but one less precarious vice grip to do because these ones that are in the middle under the bus are like all up in the mechanical crap. And it's really not a fun experience getting them to grip. I'll kind of show you what I mean. So here's what we're talking about underneath the bus. Luckily, these vice grips didn't fall like in this like catacomb inside here, but that second one up there is the one. So. This one worked out. Oh no. Uh, this one worked out because these things are just like adhered to the bottom of the bus. But this one, not so much. It's spinning with me. So I have to actually vice grip all the way in there and it's a real pain, but here we go. And just like that, another seat is free. So now we just rinse and repeat that process ad nauseum until my poor little heart can't take it anymore. Here we go. All right, that's the front of the last seat. Oh, sneaky sis. Are you kidding me? Oh man. So first set is all the way back here and I did get the vice grips on it somehow. Game changer. I had a thought that maybe if I took the impact driver to these really sticky bottom ones right here. Where are you? Those. That maybe I could just get them off doing that. But this does, of course, only work on the ones that are like not in some weird cryptic place. But it works like a charm. So if you have the option, do that. Uh, I did have to switch though to a 716th for to do that. So I've got three eighths up on the top, I've got 716th down here, and then the half inch on the side rails. tan line there. A dirt line, if you will. One, two, three, four. So there's our progress. And that one bolted to the heater. It's not really bolted. It's just these clamps are really, really rigid. I'm going to try to gain some motivation and energy during my little lunch break. Uh, I also found another quarter. So it's a good thing my hard work is being rewarded. Uh, I'm going to go eat some food and then uh, maybe I have a couple hours until I have to leave to go stream at home and do aerial. 
So I think it would be great if I could get like another six done before I go, which would mean one, two, three, four, five, six would be the goal. This middle portion is the most annoying thing possible because this is where like you're in between the wheels and everything. I mean, everything is right in this area. So I'm not really looking forward to it, but we're gonna get it done. I would really like if it was halfway empty when I leave so that tomorrow when I come back, maybe I could finish it. Maybe I could finish it so I could start on the floors on Saturday and maybe get my blizzard on Sunday. I'm still thinking about the DQ. At various points in the weekend, I forgot to put my phone back in airplane mode. And that's when we get audio that sounds like something from The Exorcist. So I'll spare you that and say, right around here, I'm talking about my survival story after rolling on my back through a thriving village of fire ants. That's, uh, yeah, just, just don't, don't, don't do that. This is the unexpected stuff that comes up, apparently. And I don't think I could feel more burned by the situation. But ultimately it comes down to my own fault, right? Because I only bought two vice grips. Why is that a problem now? Because one of them broke. I don't know, apparently falling 12 inches, 16 inches from the top of the bottom of the bus made this little guy come out and I absolutely cannot get him to go back in where he belongs. So now I'm down to one vice grip which really slows me down. I'm gonna see how many I can do with the impact driver because I really think that trying to do this with one is a disastrous idea. So let's try it with the impact driver where we can and just do what we can. Make it work, make it work, make it work. So here's an instance of this stuff being like so muddy, it's not even worth trying with this thing. Oh look, I have a visitor. Hello sir. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior? The impact driver? So yeah, so these are so caked in mud. I don't even know if it's worth trying with the impact driver. That's generally when they seem to not work. When they're real dry and naked, that's when they come off really easy. There's a set that are like so caked, you can't even see them. Yeah, these. I can't even see those. I don't know if I should even try it or, you know, I mean, what? What? All right, so I cleaned them off a little bit. We'll see if I can do it. You'll kind of get an idea for how awful the mud situation makes this. Not budging. Not worth it. Moving on. Well, the good news is we've reached the front of the bus. So like, shouldn't I be done? Is this it? Have I reached the end? I don't know. I think I might just have to like, go start pulling seats out and see what happens. I got, I think, six out, which was the goal, um, but there are two that are only being held in by one bolt. So I'm gonna try to use my one, my one singular vice grip, because there's a whole bunch more that I need to get out. Um, but I may actually exceed the goal for today, which would be unexpected. All right, here we go.
Here I take a moment to pause and explain that the sweat rolling down my face straight into my eyeballs is in fact the worst part of this entire process. And honestly, at this point I still can't disagree. Here I am explaining that I have 12 minutes left to get one more seat out. The caveat being I have one singular vice grip to do this with. I'm feeling pretty confident, so here I go. 15 seconds later, I'm back and I'm sad because the only remaining pair of vice grips is now also broken. And just as the pity party starts getting going, I amaze my own self and fix the vice grips right there on camera. And all hope is not lost. I can still try! There are a few minutes left I can try! Okay, so end of day two, and we have a lot of seats out, which is really heartening. It makes my heart go pity pat. She be an empty, she be an empty. So now what we're gonna do is clean everything up a little bit. I'm gonna get cleaned up a lot. I'm gonna take a shower, maybe eat a quick bite of food, drive all the way back to Orlando, do an aerial class, which is probably unsafe at this point because my arms are absolutely dead, uh, as well as my core and my legs. It's been an all over kind of day. Um, go home, shower, get ready for my St. Patrick's Day stream. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and yours. So yeah, having a St. Patrick's Day stream tonight. If you are interested in uh, checking out my music streams, there's a link down in the description. If you want to ask any questions, if you think you could have done this faster than me, please tell me. Help the people in the comments. I'm not saying this is a fast way to do it, but I'm saying this is a way to do it alone. So put that in your juice box and suck it. All right, I'm going to embark on the cleanup. Uh, if you're digging this, if you want to follow my journey, hit the socials and the link in the description and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, this is a new channel for me. I've got my own separate music channel. Um, if you came over from the music channel, please say that down in the comments. I would love to uh, see who is watching me from the music side of things. I don't have a shtick at the end like my other one, so I'll just see you when I see you, which should be tomorrow. So here we go. Bye. Like and subscribe.